So you have two schools of thought in entrepreneurship today. One is that everything is your fault. And you hear people say this all the time, you know, it's your fault, there's no excuses, etc. right? So I agree that there's no excuses, but not everything is your fault. So let's look at the first school of thought where they say everything is your fault. So let's say you got COVID, right? And you got it really bad and your business suffered, right? Or someone in your family got it really bad and they end up dying and so your business suffered. It's probably not your fault, right? Let's say someone stole from you, theft. That's something that you couldn't see coming. It could have been your car, which you need to get back and forth. It, someone could have broken into your home, stole something extremely valuable. Someone could have got hurt from it. Probably not your fault, right? And then let's say something, let's say you were born into the barrio, right? Or to a, a third world country, right? You're born into a third world country where you don't have the same opportunities that other people have. You know, the government may control everything. They may restrict everything. Maybe it's a racial thing, right? It does happen, right? So that's probably not your fault. Maybe you were born into an extremely decrepit educational system, right? And let's say uh, miseducation, right? And you are... If you were miseducated and you weren't given the proper tools and so now you're lagging behind, you're further behind, then you know, you're not as far ahead as, as you should be. That's probably not going to be your fault as well. It doesn't mean it's, it's an excuse, but that's probably not your fault. Let's say there was police violence, right? And you know, maybe you're a child and um, you were unfortunate victim of police violence. Maybe you're an adult, you're an unfortunate victim of police violence, which sometimes happens, ends up resulting in actual death. And so your family suffers, your business suffers, right? All of these things can affect your life, which also includes your business. It's probably not your fault. Now you have another school of thought where it's not your fault until you're educated. And I espouse to this particular school of thought. And the thing is that now what you can do is you can learn from those who paved the way for you, right? I don't care if it's civil rights. I don't care if it's, you know, new technology that's been created today and maybe it didn't work for that person, but now, you know, not to repeat those same mistakes, right? So you learn from, let's call them pioneers, right? And if you have access to that information and you decide to ignore or not use it, now it is your fault, right? Let's say you're brand new and you're trying to jump into entrepreneurship. You're going to make a ton and ton of mistakes. It's not, gonna, it's not your fault, right? I work with a ton of entrepreneurs who, when they first come on board, let's say for payment processing, they, have, they probably have about a year or two of some really hard lessons to learn. Even though they're proposing themselves as being gurus and things like that, they're really not gurus at the time. They may know a little bit more than the next person, but they're not a guru. And so they're gonna make a ton of mistakes. They actually do make a ton of mistakes. But now, so is that their fault? Not necessarily. Or if they have access to business history, right? Let's call it business history, which they may not have had because maybe they were miseducated or born into a system or a family that didn't have that advantage. But now they can learn business history. There's plenty of books and tools and videos around that can actually help teach them what not to do. So that way you're not wasting a year, two years of burning bridges and relationships and clients because of what you didn't know. Also, the next thing is that now, before you didn't have access to resources, right? But now you've learned from pioneers, you study business history. And so now you have access to resources, right? Let's call it access to resources. And access to resources could be something simple as knowing the right people at the bank, knowing the right people in the judicial system, right? There's a lot of cases where people end up, you know, unfortunately going to jail for a very long time simply because they didn't have access to resources. Over here, is that their fault? You know, your child makes a mistake or you make a mistake and because you don't know the judicial system, you don't know the right people, you end up paying the price 10 times more than what someone else would pay who has access to the resources, right? So now if you have access to resources or you know how to get to those resources, then it would be your fault, but not before that. And then the other school is that now that you have access to these resources, 
it's upon you to hire the right consultants, right? You can hire the proper coaches, okay? And you can hire the proper, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna capitalize this, ethical attorneys. Not to just fight crime or anything like that, hopefully that's not you, but to assist you in your business as well. In everything that we do, the legal system is involved in everything. You can get away with some things on your own for a while, but eventually when you start to scale and grow, you will get to this point where you need an attorney and hopefully you can find an ethical attorney. So remember, two schools of thought. One is that everything is your fault, which I don't subscribe to because I don't really agree with that. I do agree with this. Should, we should not make excuses. But the other school of thought is that it's not your fault on until you are educated. So the goal is to get to this side right here. Learn from the pioneers that have already paved the way, that have already made a ton of mistakes, and you can learn from those. Learn the business history lessons. What happens in business when you know you become a 50-50 partner with someone else? That is, in many cases, a recipe for disaster. You don't have to believe me. All you have to do is do a little bit of research and go through the legal system and see how many lawsuits and how many legal cases there are about 50-50 partnerships and LLCs, right? Access to resources, right? Sometimes you may need the access to even get this business information, right? Hiring the proper consultants, right? You can't just, you know, hopefully you're not looking at someone on social media just saying, hey, I want that to be my coach because you saw a nice car or some jewelry or something like that. You need to be able to vet these consultants properly, right? What is their history? What have they done prior? Okay, coaches, same thing. And then last but not least, ethical attorneys. You absolutely need an ethical attorney. And one way to find one is to find, maybe it's a referral from someone that has already used them prior, right? You can't really go by, you don't know how many cases they've won or lost, but I would go with the referral here. And then sometimes when you have an attorney, sometimes it's good to have another attorney. And I know everyone can't afford this, but to have another attorney to look over the other attorney. So, so how do I know this? Like I'm speaking from experience here, right? I've been on this side myself as well, born into a family maybe where my grandparents actually adopted me legally. And they were coming out of a period where they didn't have the education that we have access to today, right? So they did the best they possibly could for me. They were miseducated. And so I was also put into an educational system where I was miseducated like many of us. That is not your fault, right? That wasn't my fault. There was police violence all around. There was neighborhood violence all around. Surely that wouldn't be my fault. God forbid I get in trouble as a youth and let's say I'm a teenager, we know that the legal system will sometimes, you know, lock us up and throw away the key. Your life is ruined, right? God forbid this happens in your 20s. Now your family suffers, right? Now, is that actually your fault? No one put a gun to your head in some cases, but if you grow up and if you injected into an environment where that's all around you, you have to look at it at a deeper level instead of just saying, hey, it's your fault, right? So the now I'm on this side where I have access to the pioneers. I have access to study the business history, right? I have tons of books and literature and people I can talk to. I have access to the resources, right? I can hire the consultants, now I can hire the coaches, right? And I've been through enough of the co coaches and consultants to know which ones are gurus and which ones don't, which ones actually can get me to the promised land, which ones who've actually been the pioneer and done what they've actually what they're actually selling that can actually help me. And then also have access to the ethical attorneys. I've been through many attorneys, paid seven figures in legal fees. And I can tell you that this is extremely important because there's some attorneys who will run up your legal bills to the point where you can't even fight anymore because the other, that's a legal game, you know? I don't necessarily have to be right or you don't have to be right to fight me legally. I could just run up your legal bills to the point where you have, you, you give up because you run out of money. And the legal system, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's made for attorneys, right? Not necessarily for what's right or what's wrong. So if you have enough money, in many cases, you can win, whether you're right or wrong. Because again, I can literally exhaust your resources by just, you know, all kinds of frivolous BS and paperwork and lying up under oath, right? I've seen that happen as well. 
and you are run out of resources to the point where you can't fight anymore. So, you know, this is why it's extremely important. And like I said, I've been through this myself to make sure you have the ethical attorneys and also someone when you put all this together, who can put this into a strategy. So hope that helps. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure if you like this or if you disagree with anything, make sure to comment and let me know. Also hit the subscribe button. Look forward to seeing you again. Be good.